hello fam welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on the link to watch this video thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel if today is your first time watching my video don't forget to click on the subscription button to subscribe to my channel so once again i'm back with all your tips for grad school my name is varaki sisaka and i'm a second year phd student at michigan state university so again i promise to be sharing a list of schools offering specific programs with um funding and um waving to fall and gre and today i want to share a list of schools offering a great a great accounts a great business like they have so many agriculture programs like animal science plants pathology i mean so many and i had 32 schools yeah 32 with like links to all the various schools however because of time i'm just going to go through 10 of those schools in the video but i'll put the link um to all the two schools in my um, description section so i have it on my blog and i'm going to put the link in the description section and you can just um, click on that link and that should take you um straight to my blog and you'll be able to access all the 32 schools but you need to watch this video till the end because in this video i'm going to show you how to find funding information so for some of those um schools on my blog i just have the link to the program but i don't have the link to the funding because it's a lot it's 32 so watch this video and learn how to find information to the funding and also watch this video to kind of like see the 10 schools that i would go through so i'm going to go through 10 schools the good thing is like most of these schools are waving gre they are waving TOEFL, and they are offering funding then for agri-related um, courses but before i do that i just want to um, issue this disclaimer please and please again i don't accept money to apply for schools for people i don't charge i don't do personal consultations i only provide information and tips i don't do any consultation so if you see any comment um under my video with my image asking you to whatsapp please ignore because i don't do personal consultations on whatsapp i don't take money i don't want you to go and pay anyone um for them to apply for schools for you you do so at your own risk because i don't do that if you have any um like if you want to ask me for any questions you can just find my linkedin name or you can just find me on linkedin the name is barakisi saka you can ask your questions there or you can just go to my blog and send an email there but please don't don't pay anyone to like <laughs> to help you apply for school you can do so but please don't message anyone who would like put something under my videos with my image i'm not the one i don't do personal consultation so Anyways, for my agric um, folks and people interested in agric related programs, tag along as I take you through the website. If you are new here, once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put something in the comment section and let me know what other programs you would um, want me to cover on my channel. So tag along as I take you through the school's website. Right, so as I promised, or as I mentioned in my video, I'll be taking you through the Vero School's website and just kind of show you how and where to find the funding information. But um, before I do that, I just want to show you the full list on my blog. So this is my blog, Grad School Cafe. If you type this on Google, like you would be able to find it. But I'm going to put the same link also in the description section. So just um, check for it there. Um, as I mentioned, there are like 32 schools. So these are the list of the schools. We have University of Wyoming, University of Minnesota, Oregon State University. I just want to increase this a bit so that you can all see it really clearly. Good. So we have University of Wyoming, University of Minnesota, Oregon State University, Texas A&M University, Texas Tech University, Oklahoma State, University of Arkansas, Kansas State, Pennsylvania State, University of Nebraska, University of Missouri. I mean, the list is really long. It's 30 school, um, 32, like the 32 schools. And you can see that they are all offering different um, agriculated programs. So University of Wyoming, we have plant science. Here we have animal science. We have plant pathology. Here we have horticulture. We have botany and plant pathology. We have soil sciences. Here we have breeding, agronomy. Um, with Texas Tech, we have um, agronomy 
agriculture and applied economics we have agri communications with oklahoma state we have um a great business agricultural leadership with the university of akinto we have econs a great and extension animal science crop soil science it's really a long list and you just need to like go to my blog and just go through all and we have the link to like each of the programs all right so that's it now i'm going to go through the other um 10 specific schools and just um show you their requirements just to kind of let you know that they are waiving the gre and so forth and also um take you through their funding um, information so the first one is university of minnesota and this school um, offers um, plant pathology um, graduate program and um, you can see here that the gre exam score is no longer required right so they are no longer requiring the gre exam score and for um, TOEFL I've already um, said it in most of my videos that if you are from an English um, speaking country like Ghana or Nigeria you can always request for a TOEFL waiver and I have a sample of how to request for a TOEFL waiver on my blog so you can look it up as well so that's it the school is um, waiving GRE so and they are they would also waive the TOEFL for people from um english um, speaking countries like ghana or nigeria right so yeah this um how to find the funding information so when you go to the graduate section you would see something like funding opportunities right so because you want to know if they offer funding you just click here and that should tell you if the school offers funding so you can see here research assistantships are available from individual faculty and high from individual faculty and high qualified students are considered for research assistantship so that's the good thing right and as i mentioned in most of my videos research assistantships and teaching assistantships usually would cover all your fees right so this is going to um cover like your tuition and everything so you can see here that they have funding they also even have fellowships that are awarded to like 20 first year graduate students from under um presented groups they also have the plant pathology fellowships scholarships and travel grants they have so many other fellowships aside the research assistantship so university of minnesota plant pathology graduate program they offer um, research assistantship now the next school is oregon state university and this school offers so many agri-related programs you can see fisheries and wild wildlife we can see they also offer applied economics they offer animal science so if you want information about let's say the applied economics because when you go to the link on my blog it will just directly take you here if you want information on let's say applied economics you just have to click on this and that will take you straight um, to the applied economics um, program and there you can see the admission terms is for fall and you can also see that the GRE scores are optional so for oregon state university applied economics GRE scores are not compulsory they are optional yep and yeah so that's it if you also want to um see further information about funding and other things you can just go to the admission section and you'd be able to find um, information about funding and other details so check out oregon um, state university they have um they are waiving the gre and they would also waive the tour for people from um, english um, speaking countries and the deadline is january 15th so you have a little time and yeah so check out oregon state the next one is texas a m university and texas a m also offers so many like agric related programs as you can see here right agric business agric economics yeah agric economics agricultural learning agronomy agronomy phd animal breeding so let's say you are also interested in agronomy phd you just click on here and that should take you to um, the agronomy page and you'd be able to see everything here about agronomy and if you want information about funding they also have like emails there for you to kind of like email them about information um, for funding so i just want to see the application requirements and other things so i'll just go to their graduate programs they have um 
the requirements here and you can go through all the various requirements because i'm interested in admission stuff i'll just go to admissions and so that would provide you with details about um, the graduate admission so yeah you should definitely check out texas um, a m as well they offer like um, funding as well as um, different agric related um, programs so yeah check it out then we have um which school is this <laughs> yeah i oklahoma state university sorry about that yeah so we have oklahoma state university um they also you know i cannot be perfect i'll definitely miss out something so this oklahoma state university they also offer a phd in agricultural economics and um they have different um funding opportunities for like their phd programs so here they highlight um, what their research is doing and this has to do with the admissions right so if you are interested in the admissions you just have to scroll down when you go to this page just to read the information so you can see here that they are saying to apply for an assistantship complete the assistantship information in the application so that means the office they offer assistantship right so if you want to be considered for assistantship they said you should um, submit your application by january 5th to be considered um, for assistantship so they have assistantship and so many other funding opportunities for the agricultural um, economics program at oklahoma state university then the next one is university of nebraska lincoln so university of nebraska lincoln also have different um agriculated programs so they have phd and master's degrees in agronomy and horticulture um so here you can see that they are saying we offer graduate programs leading to a master's or doctoral degree in agronomy or horticulture they have plant breeding and genetics i mean so many um different programs i can't go through all the programs but what i'm what i can tell you is that like all these programs offer funding and they are also waiving the gre so check out the university of nebraska lincoln um lincoln <laughs> now this school is the ohio state university the most important thing so we can see that they've written their selected number of associations associates ships and fellowships are available to qualified ms and phd students once they are admitted so you can get fellowship um, once um, you apply to this school so they have um, different um, fellowship and they also have like fee award for like different groups of individuals so do check out um the ohio state university this is the department of animal science so that's um the agriculture program they offer at ohio state university then we also have Colorado State University and Colorado State University also offers um, Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural Economics. So here as well, you can see that they have um, assistantships in the form of graduate teaching, graduate research. And you'd, you will hear me mention assistantships a lot because schools that offer assistantship it means that like your tuition will be fully waived you get health insurance and you'll get paid every two weeks so that's what this means like you get employed and then your fees and everything will be waived so um yeah colorado state university offers like culture and resource economics and um, they also offer funding as you can see in terms of gta or gra yeah then we have illinois state university so illinois state university also offers agriculture and agribusiness so um, they offer agribusiness and here you can also see that they are not taking the gre it's just two letters of recommendation your statement of interest your resume and TOEFL, and yeah they are not taking gre so they also have graduate assistantships right so um they have assistance so they said assistantships are for students admitted and enrolled in the ms in a culture program graduate assistants get tuition waiver so you get a tuition waiver that means they are going to waive um your your fees for you then we have south dakota state university so south dakota state university also has all these agriculated programs 
agriculture, agricultural and biosystems, um, animal science, biological sciences, um, vets. They have so many um, programs here. They, they also have um, plant molecular biology. So they have so many um, programs and like I went through and some of these programs uh waving the gre and um, they are also providing um full funding so you should also look out south dakota state university so you can see that with the agricultural and biosystems engineering phd program at um, south dakota state university um, they have their information here about the admission requirements and GRE is not required. So GRE is not required for the agricultural and biosystems engineering um, PhD at um, South Dakota State University. You can see it here, GRE not required. Yeah. So they are not um, requiring that. And they also consider all the admitted students for a full um, funding. So check out South Dakota State University. Now the next school is University of Connecticut. They also offer um, different programs. They even have, so they have nutrition. That for those of you who are watching this video because you are interested in agri-related programs, they have, um, they offer nutrition and they are not accepting GRE. This is all they require. These are all they require, the transcript, the two false course, and the three letters of recommendation. And you can see that GRE is not listed here. And they also have several um, fellowships. So they have the Graduate Schools Fellowships Award. They have the Jorgensen Fellowship, which offers 20,000 annual stipend. So they have different um, fellowships and scholarships also for University of um, Connecticut. Then we have, um, yeah, so that's it. I think those are the 10 schools. This just brings me back to like all the list of schools on my blog. So as I mentioned, you you just find the um, link to my blog on the description section. And that should bring you to like the schools here. It's 32. It's a lot. So you just have to like go through all those schools. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If this video was beneficial to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, please don't forget to share this video. Even if you are not interested in some of the programs I went through, share this video because it might benefit someone. So thank you all once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to leave something in the comment section for me. If this video was beneficial, let me know it, it was in the comment section. I'll see you again next time. Bye.